Paxton Aronson left Honduras with a load of hardware, winning the U20 championship, a golden boot, and a golden ball. Most people knew him as a talented player, but much of his notoriety was from his older brother, Brendan. But after his performances at the U20 championships, he has firmly entrenched himself in the upper echelon of USMNT prospects. We are still waiting for that true breakout season from him in MLS for the Philadelphia Union. He started getting minutes last year, but never truly established himself and hasn't really earned a spot yet this year. With his confidence surely sky high after his month in Honduras, maybe now is the time. If you need help finding Aronson on the field, just look for the player swinging his arms frantically while running. Paxton has a more diminutive build that he's still growing into standing at 5'9 with a relatively frail frame. But despite his smaller stature, he rarely gets knocked off the ball. He uses his technical ability to keep the ball far from defenders so they do not have the chance to physically overpower him. He lures in defenders and waits for their body shape to get all out of source before blowing by them. His dribbling ability gives him resistance to the press. Here, just as the defender is about to close him down, he turns on a dime and plays the ball upfield. Again, you see a defender draped all over him, but he shows off his small turn radius before freezing the next defender with a feint. He maneuvers out of tight spaces very well, skipping past one challenge and then keeping his body between the defender and the ball to win the free kick right at the top of the 18. I really like the way he changes his pace to throw off defenders. Picking up the ball here in the middle of the field, he shields the ball with some clever hesitation and changes the pace before sending in a dangerous cross. He is coming in at full speed, he slows down and does a quick step over to throw off the defender's balance before playing the ball across. He is intelligent in his positionings. Watch him scan the field and then slip into the half space between defenders to receive the ball. He has a penchant for this final ball that his brother Brendan did not quite have at this age. His vision allows him to quickly play passes to teammates into space rather than wasting touches which might ruin the sequence. Here he is scanning again before quickly turning and threading a pass. Again, he recognizes the run here and quickly plays the ball forwards. The spin threw off the execution a little bit, but the idea is clearly there. In this sequence, you can see that the run of Caden Clark is a little bit behind him. So, Aronson slows down the play and gets the right back to engage with him to open up the passing lane to play in Clark. It seems here like he is harmlessly going towards his own goal when he unleashes a ball over the top to a free Quinn Sullivan. Watch how all the defenders are watching Aronson and not the run in behind. Somehow, in tight spaces, he is able to turn again and pick out the ball in behind. This sequence is caused by Aronson's pressing ability before perfectly chipping the ball over the top. Paxton is a supercharged pressing maniac, causing panic and chaos as he's lurking like a shark waiting for his kill. His defending numbers in MLS were frankly astounding for a player of his age. He presses at an incredibly high rate for attacking midfielders and also wins the ball back at a similarly high rate. This is all also picked up in the film, where we see Aronson winning 1v1 challenges quite frequently. Aronson rarely engages in physical duels, but rather uses his intelligence and quickness to win the ball back. He recognizes a chance here to win the ball, and pounces on it. His ability to win the ball back in the final third helps keep the pressure on the opposing team. Aronson sees the pass about to be played here, and speeds up before poking the ball away to a teammate. Watch him force the defender to turn up the field by cutting off any other passing angle, and when he does turn up the field, he quickly closes down and wins the ball back. I think that Paxton is a really well-rounded player. He does not have too many holes in his game. He does clearly need to get stronger though. Getting stronger will allow him to be more aggressive when pressing and give him more options on the ball. But Aronson is developed in such a way that his smaller stature does not really affect his ability on the ball. As he continues to grow into his frame, I think his playstyle will not necessarily require him to bulk up too much. Otherwise, he just needs to continue working on improving his baseline of his abilities to become a truly special player. He is so well rounded that he does not have too many weaknesses that he needs to patch up, but improving all around would benefit his game much more. Obviously, finding a way to get more consistent minutes with Philadelphia would probably help in this area. Give him a few years and I think that we could truly see two Aronsons on the United States men's national team.